In this module, we will talk about the pH control system while designing a fermenter. pH is very critical. All the biological systems require a specific pH. Minor change in a pH that controlled by the buffering capacity while designing the medium because we add some buffer compounds which can check which can control a minor change in a pH value. What is pH? We know that that is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration and that that is some different ionic behavior of that. It is a chemical property of uh, any system of the medium. So, if we set the pH at the start of the fermentation medium formation, suppose we set the medium at uh, pH 7. So, when we sterilize sometimes at the result of the sterilization there is a change in uh, the pH. Sometimes when there is a growth by the depletion of some specific uh, ingredient suppose as an example when there is ammonium sulphate and the organisms utilize the sulphate ions and then in the medium remain ammonia. So, that is why that such factors has uh, the which can alter the pH. On other hand sometimes some when the organism produce some product that have an acidic nature or they have alkaline nature then they can tend to change the pH of the medium. Sometimes pH we have to regulate the pH just for the sake of some desired product. In case of uh, calcium gluconate, in case of sodium gluconate we have to keep the pH at 7. So, because when there will be automatic run and there is no pH control then there is a gradual change in the pH to the acidic side. So, the pH control system is very critical. Normally when we want to control the pH we have to use either the alkali agent or the acid agent. So, this alkali and then acid then that is how much is the total system should be controlled. So, pH is very critical. So, as concerning then what are the agent which can be utilized as a neutralizing agent. So, the neutralizing agent used to control the pH should be non-corrosive because in case of uh, the hydrochloric acid we, if the body vessel is uh, stainless steel we cannot use any chlorinated compound either those compound which have I N E in the end. So, we cannot use such compounds. So, they should be non-toxic to the cells when diluted in the medium. So, the potassium hydroxide is preferred in case of alkali sodium hydroxide as potassium ions tend to less toxic to the cells than sodium ions. So, QH is more expensive than NOH. So, one is the type of uh, the compound and other is the rate of that. So, we have to be very careful. So, here you can see that hydrochloric acid should never be used as it is corrosive even to the stainless steel. So, sulfuric acid in a concentrated should not be between 10 to 10 percent and 80 percent as between this range of sulfuric acid is more corrosive. So, these are very strong compounds we should be very careful while selecting our neutralizing agent. So, for laboratory fermenters the pristal pump pristalic pump is used to add the pH adjusting agent and then that is linked with the different kind of the tubing and mostly the silicon tubing is used. So, the silicon tube will decay in the presence of high alkali concentration and when we sterilize that material in a high temperature then the silicon tubing have a restricted life. So, alternatively we can have a choice of using the Tigon and neoprene tubing. So, the Tigon is not autoclaved, but can be sterilized by passing the sodium hydroxide through the tubing for about 1 hour and the neoprene is autoclavable, but is not transparent. So, that is why 
the tigon or the silicon tubing is mostly used uh, for the addition of uh, the neutralizing agent. So, the for fermentation that produce a large amount of acids for example, lactic acid fermentation is using media then there is a, a molarity some specific molarity is needed. So, alkali that have a 4 molars and above is uh, preferred. So, this will prevent the dilution of the medium because when we use the diluted neutralizing agent that can raise the volume of the medium that can affect the kinetic parameters. So, we should use a specific strength and the concentration of acids or the alkali agents which we use as a neutralizing agent.